Hello. Just got on a little early. It's my first time doing live. So I'm pretty excited <laughs> by myself with my good friend, Laura Vandervoort. So I've got a, people joining, waiting. Some of our friends from Canada, hope you're staying warm. There we go, let's see. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I, I, I was on my Soul to Takes account and joined and I was like, oh no, this is the wrong one. So, I did that last week. I was on Age yeah. of Dysphoria. I guess that's just, you know, us and our films. Like they just want to be seen. They I mean, want to be yeah. out there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Let's promote those too, right? Well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Thank you so much for coming on. Course. This is so great. Um, we are uh, in a new year. Happy New Year. Happy. Well, we've spoken since, but happy yeah. new year and happy new year to everyone. <laughs> you and I talk every day. I know. <laughs> so. I know. I said to somebody the other day, I said, is it happy new year or just it's a new year? It's another year. It's a year. <laughs> it's a year of COVID. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Well, <laughs> we are all here just kind of trying to keep creating and keep promoting each other and like all yep. the cool work that everyone's doing. And um, thank you, as always, for your support of Reburn. You've been so awesome. It's so great. Thanks. Well, I mean, thank you for creating such amazing things. I mean, we've talked about it before, but Reburn is such a, for me, was such like a pillar in, in comics because I've never been into them. And you guys developed a comic created mostly by a female team, which is like unheard of in that industry. And um, to even be a little part of that has been great. And you guys have been killing it. So. Well, thank you. Yeah, we've got a lot of, of exciting stuff going on. Um, I know Allison is, there's a, a mention or shout out on the Rogue Wave podcast. Um, oh, awesome. so if you get a chance, everybody check that out. Um, and yeah, we're just plugging away on our next few issues, but we're here today to talk about you cause you've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, do I, all... I mean, I have a dog here. <laughs> Maybe she should be in the shot. Come here, babe. There we go. Frankie should okay. always be in the shot. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> um, our format is a Q and a, we keep it, you know, want to keep it kind of short because, you know, we, we want to just kind of get that info out there. But one of the things we talked about was two questions. And for me, as somebody who's collaborated with you, I had the opportunity to be a part of um, a small part of my soul to take your directorial debut. Oh. Hold Congratulations. on, Congratulations. Small part? <laughs> Hold on, a small part? <laughs> well, you wrote, directed <laughs> and produced it. So I, you know, I wanted to hear from you what you felt was your favorite part. Well, first of all, you're not a small part you are like the brace that holds me up and everything that I've been doing the past few years. So thank you. Oh, you're gonna make um, me <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's something that I think we're both very proud of, especially myself, because like you said, I wrote, produced and directed it. Um, and uh, I, I just can't wait to get it out there into festivals. It's such a weird time for festivals and submissions. And I know you've told me it's just a waiting game. Um, but uh, you guys can follow at my soul to take film on Instagram. And uh, that's where we're going to have any updates on festivals that we are, will be attending. Uh, we yes. had a lovely kind of um, private, not private, but a special screening in London, Ontario, uh, which was well received, uh, which opened for Trigger Point, which is a film that Jessica produced and was a part of and directed the second unit. And um, so yes, I don't know what else to say about my soul to take, but uh, we hope you guys get to see it soon. Yeah, well, okay. Favorite part, writing, directing, producing. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot, but that's kind of the thing. <laughs> I want I, uh, I want to say it. I want to say directing just because that was the the scariest part. So I want to say that was the best part because I, if there's anything that I've learned in the past few years, it's that the things that scare us are probably worth doing. 
So I would say directing. Um, the writing process was a very cathartic yeah. thing for me. I don't think that's really where my strengths are. Uh, not to say that directing is yet. I'm still a baby at that. But producing feels like a natural fit for me because I do like um, bringing people together. I, I like control um, and creating content. But directing was probably the best in that uh, it's, it's something new that I'm discovering I have an interest in. Yeah. And you, you know, you were so prepared. I think that was something um, with directors when you're new, you know, even though we come from different backgrounds in the set world, you know, and working on, on shows and films, it's like you came in as a director with like, you knew exactly what you wanted. And we had such a great team. Like, I think that was a really cool, you know, experience. So yeah, I'm just excited for more people to get to see it. So yeah. stay tuned and definitely follow up my soul to take film because we're going to have more updates coming hopefully in the near future. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my next question that I wanted to ask you, and we've talked about this bit is, you know, you are so active on social media and A, I don't know how you find the time to do it, but I'm grateful that you do because you always post a lot of really great, you know, inspirational stuff and, <laughs> and, you know, a lot about what's going on in your life. So mm -hmm. I, I just kind of like, what inspires you to, to do the social media that you do and share everything you do with, with your fans? Well, um, first of all, I have a love-hate relationship, I think, like everyone with social media. Um, it, it can be a very unhealthy place in that it makes us all think everyone's lives are perfect because people tend to only share the positive stuff when their lives are going well, or they like to make it look like their lives are. So the rest of us are just thinking, I'm the only one that doesn't have my, I don't know if I can swear live, together. <laughs> and so I find that really unhealthy. So, yes, I, I, I do like to use it as a tool to uh, speak with the people that follow me, commiserate. Uh, I, I have a lot of um, positive quotes and affirmations on there. And honestly, like I just posted something today. It's also for myself. I, you know, I don't want to always give across the idea that I have everything together. I'm, you know, that I'm busy and working and like everything is gravy. It's not. Um, it is a work tool. So I do, you know, use it to promote what we're doing. We used it mm -hmm. to raise funds for my soul to take um, on Indiegogo. So it has a lot of beneficial sides to it as, as a, a tool for work. Uh, but I always try to integrate the humanity of like the day to day life. Um, I, I don't think it should be just one set thing. And um, I just try to stay active on it because I know a lot of people I, I, I talk to a lot of people on there who are going through certain things and it's always great to know that you're not alone. And yeah. oftentimes I feel like I relate to a lot of the people that do follow me um, and we just motivate each other. And, and it, it's, 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 it's a mutual thing. I get so much uh, love from my wonderful followers, even on the down dates, uh, you know, with my house, I, I'm waiting to move into a house and I get a lot of it. You're almost there. You're almost there. So it's, <laughs> It's very beneficial mutually for everyone, I think, but. Yeah, we'll and you have yeah. some awesome fans, I have to say, like having done Age of Dysphoria and My Soul to Take and just like, you know, and with Reburn, like I just, you've got, there's a lot of really lovely people in, in your corner and are always excited to see what you're doing. So with that in mind, tell me what is going on for you in 2022. What's your first, what's next? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the, the the auditioning process is is nonstop. It's it's never something we get away from. I, I you never. I mean, I'm, at least me personally, never have jobs just lined up, and you know how that is. Um, so I'm auditioning. I'm hoping to get you know a project I'm impassioned by and excited about. I'd love to be back on a series, especially. Um, to have that consistent family crew thing that I miss so much. Me too. Uh, right? I it's, do. I miss it. I miss every part of it. <laughs> yeah. The, and, and, and just, you know, knowing exactly, like, I love the schedule and I love to be challenged. And, and 
I remember even on Bitten, just every episode, I was excited about a new challenge and knowing I was going into work for 12 to 20 hours. <laughs> like, I loved it. Um, so I do hope that that's upcoming for me and um, developing a few things that we've talked about. Um, and there's a potential for me to direct a uh, feature. Uh, that's so but, exciting. Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet because I am <laughs> terrified. But uh, it, it's through a mutual actor friend that I'd worked with who's producing uh, a film. And um, they they came to me for it. They had seen my soul to take and loved what we did with it. So we'll see if that happens. But the goal right now is to just like survive um, and not cry every day about something. It's and cry January, it's, haven't you heard? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's cry January. So you're allowed. That, that makes that totally makes acceptable. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure you were aware and in the loop. Now that it's I'm aware, totally I feel better about it. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> okay. Well, you're in a film too. Is it See For Me that just came out? Yeah. Um, I and you've got another film coming out? Uh, do I? Is Black Black Bag. Oh, yes. You were oh posting God, a little yeah. bit about Black Bag. I don't know that there's a date, so that might there, be preemptive, but. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I just have a little little kind of cameo in a film that's out right now. You can catch it on demand, I think, in Canada called Black Bags. It's a fantastic film. Randall Akita uh, directed it. And that's C for me, right? C for me. C for yeah, me. sorry. I want to make sure. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, I'm just thrilled to be a part of that. And then Black Bags is a thriller that I did in Oklahoma last year um, with Alicia Ruin, who's a wonderful actress, and Joshua Brandon directed it. And um, it's, it's great because the two female leads um, are very equal and very different and both strong women. It, it was just a great story. I read that script. It's, it's an indie film. Um, so you really do those for the passion of the project or the role. And yeah. that's... That's a huge reason for me um, getting involved with that. He's a newer director and he was great. And um, I haven't seen it, but um, I think it'll be great. And I think it'll be out this year. I just don't know the date yet. But again, we'll you know announce that stuff when it, when it comes to fruition. Very exciting. You've got a couple conventions coming up as well. Galaxy yes. Con, is that the next one? Um, yeah, so... With COVID, obviously, we can't do these live conventions and meet the fans. And um, that's another mutually beneficial thing for us in that I love meeting fans and talking to them about how, you know, certain roles that I might have had had helped them through things, especially with Smallville. We, we do hear that a lot, which is really great. But we can't do that as much as we'd like to. So GalaxyCon is like a live virtual convention that we do. Awesome. So we do have that coming up for Smallville February something I just posted about 26th maybe that sounds 20, right yeah I think that um, sounds right and then yeah we have a I have another we do this live signing thing here on Instagram for Streamly and uh, you can get whatever photo you want s signed it'll be sent to me and I, I sign live so trying to find ways to still connect with everyone um, and uh, that's that's what we've been doing Awesome. And then I know um, you have the Niagara Falls Convention. I think that's June 3rd through the 5th. And I think Reburn yes. may actually have a bit of a presence there too. So that would be know. amazing. I know. I know. We're going to hopefully uh, be at the same place at the same time um, and not just virtually. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys um, should, should make sure you come to Niagara Falls because that is in person and you can meet yeah. both Jess and I. Yes. And check please. out Reburn. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Well, I see a lot of messages so here. much. I know it's crazy. I like there's been. lots of cool stuff going on. Some people from Russia everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> I love it. Mexico. Mexico. Hello. <laughs> oh, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on yeah. our Reburn Fireside, Fireside. chat. We're going to be doing these every week and just kind of getting, getting out there and, and talking to people that we, know and love and want to support so you are absolutely you. and obviously my first guest <laughs> i'm i'm honored thank you and i feel the same way as everyone knows if i had a fireside <laughs> yeah. chat you would be mine <laughs> awesome. well we will uh you and i will probably talk you know later today but mm -hmm. uh we'll say goodbye to everybody else and um hopefully see you soon yes thanks and, for uh, joining I us 
We should do a special hi to Corey James, who just said hi to us. He's been a huge supporter. So hi, Corey. <laughs> hi, Corey. Thanks for yep. being here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Jess. This is All awesome. right. Bye, Laura. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks again.